In this video, I will show you how to use the SQL Profiler tool to create a new trace. So the first thing to do is to open the SQL Profiler tool, go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2008, Performance Tools, and then SQL Server Profiler. Now select File, New Trace. Now type in a name for your trace. I'll name it My Trace one And for the template, use the standard template. And then we can make changes to the standard template and then save it, um, save that template and give it a name so that we can use it later. And if you want to set a stop time for your trace, click on Enable Trace Stop Time and then you can set a time for when your trace should stop. So if we want to make it run for five minutes, then we can check the current time in the control panel, and it is 7.39 p.m. So to make it run for five minutes, we can set the stop time for 7.44 p.m. 7.44 p.m. and now it will run for five minutes. Now click on event selection tab and we will choose the events we want to use. So these are the events in the standard template. Click on show all events checkbox to see all of them. Now find security audit and check Audit Login and Audit Logout. Then find Sessions and check Existing Connection. Then find Cursors and check Cursor Implicit Conversion. Now find Errors and Warnings and check Attention, Exception, Execution Warnings, Hash Warning, Missing Column Statistics, Missing Join Predicate, Sort Warnings. Now find Locks. and check lock deadlock and lock deadlock chain and lock timeout. Now find stored procedures and check SP recompile, SP starting, And now find transactions and check SQL transactions. And now click on column filters and under duration expand greater than or equal. And I think this is in microseconds. So you can put in a value here like 10 and then when it runs the trace it will only show you um, events that took more than 10 microseconds. Then click OK and now click Run and now we can see that my trace is running and the CPU column is in milliseconds and it's showing us how much time is being taken by each event. This text data shows us the name of the stored procedure that's being called. Um, the reads shows how many reads. So like if you select, if you have a select statement and it returns 800 rows, then it would say 800 here. 
and to stop the trace press the stop button and to save the template of the trace so that you can reuse the same events later you can say file save as and then trace template and then type in a name my trace template one click OK and it says template was successfully saved and you can save this trace as a file so that you can open it up later and it will look just like it looks here or as a trace table and if you save it as a trace table then you can make queries against it for example you could say show me all the events that took longer than a certain number of milliseconds for the CPU or had more than a certain number of reads or writes also I had this window hidden here but if I expand it and then click on an event like audit login then it will show me more information about that event and if it's a stored procedure it will show me the parameters that were passed to that stored procedure and the values for those parameters. 